Potato. Live from Brisbane, 7 News with Kendall Gilding. Good afternoon. Our top stories this Monday. Deb Frecklington steps down as leader of the LNP after her devastating election defeat. As counting continues in five electorates, still too close to call. A motorbike rider dies on the M1 after a ladder falls off the back of a ute causing a multi-vehicle pile-up at Narang. Lengthy delays expected at Coolangatta as police prepare to reopen the state's borders to most of New South Wales. And the damage bill climbing after a wild weekend of storms lashed the southeast. Good afternoon. Deb Frecklington has bowed out as opposition leader after her devastating election loss. Shadow Tourism Minister David Crisofulli and her deputy Tim Mander are considered the main contenders to take over. State political editor Patrick Lyon has all the fallout. Deb Frecklington's declaration on Saturday that she would continue as leader shocked colleagues. But today she fell on her sword, apologising to supporters for the party's election loss. I will convene a party room meeting and I will ask my colleagues to appoint a new leader of the Liberal National Party. There had been mounting calls for her to go since her humiliating loss at Saturday's election and this declaration. I will continue as the leader of this great party. The comment upsetting colleagues already sharpening the knives, but Deb Frecklington denies internal pressure triggered her change of heart. Since then, I've had a great day with my family and my husband, Jason and reflected on my future. They've, um, you know, not had me around. She blames the pandemic for blowing her election chances. At the start of 2020, the LNP was in a very strong prospect of winning this election. But ultimately, Ms Frecklington accepts the blame after taking the party backwards. The LNP securing just 31 seats so far, down from 38 to Labor's 50 seats. Counting continues in five electorates. I am the leader and I do take responsibility for the election loss. The main contenders to take over are her deputy Tim Mander and Shadow Tourism Minister David Crisofulli. Neither commented today as the Premier got back to work in the Tower of Power. There's nothing more important to the people of Queensland than making sure that we are delivering for them. The Treasurer locking in December 1 for his budget. It'll be one of the uh, most challenging, uh, most difficult, but also one of the most important budgets for decades in Queensland. Deb Frecklington says she will call a party room meeting to decide her successor once vote counting across Queensland is finalised. A motorcyclist has died in a confronting crash on the M1 near Narang. Police believe the rider was trying to avoid debris that flew off the back of a ute. Police were forced to shut down part of the M1 this morning just after six o'clock due to the crash. Paramedics say it was a traumatic scene. It's believed a small stepladder fell off a ute heading northbound near Narang. The 53-year-old motorcyclist tried to swerve but lost control. A following vehicle has uh, come into contact with the rider. I believe he was trapped for a very short time. QFRS tactical support team were able to get in there and assist us really quickly. A ute and an SUV were also involved in the crash. No one else was injured. Due to the, the large scene, the amount of vehicles, it's a, a very complicated incident to investigate. Police are speaking to the owner of the ute that lost the ladder. That person did contact police to believe they have lost an item, so they've come forward. The incident caused major delays during morning peak hour. I've been in the car an hour seven minutes so far. It's taken me a good 30 minutes just to get about 800 metres down the road. Motorists were diverted off the M1, choking up side roads around Narang. Officers were able to reopen the motorway just after 10am. It's really a bottleneck of the Gold Coast, so it's affected a, a large amount of roads. The forensic crash unit is investigating. In just under nine hours, our border rules will change for the 17th time this year. Millions more people will be allowed into the Sunshine State and lengthy delays are expected. Emily Arnold has more. There is a slight queue here at the Coolangatta checkpoint this afternoon, but it's nothing compared 
to what police are expecting tomorrow. Overnight, the Queensland border will reopen to regional New South Wales. Currently, there are 100,000 people within the bubble. That will expand to 3 million with tomorrow's changes. So there are people who for months and months haven't been able to uh, visit Queensland and see relatives and friends, so we'd be expecting um, big volumes of traffic to come in. Police say people can drive through Sydney hotspots on their way to Queensland, but only for essential services and fatigue management. The new G passes will also be valid for 14 days rather than seven, and X pass will still be honoured until its expiry date. It's a $4,003 infringement notice for completing a false declaration and also your wrist being turned around and sent back. New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian has contacted Anastasia Palaszczuk following her election win. I can say um, that I sent her a congratulatory message, uh, especially acknowledging her election win in view of uh, fighting a campaign in a pandemic, but also highlighted that I was keen to speak to her uh, on the border issue. There's no chance the borders will open to Greater Sydney before December, though, our Premier already ruling out a review any earlier than the end of the month. Police are investigating whether a warehouse fire in Woolloongabba was deliberately lit. Crews were called to Ipswich Road around 6.30 last night after smoke was seen coming from the area. When they arrived, the building was alight. Police have yet to determine the cause of the blaze. They're asking anyone who may have seen anything suspicious to come forward. Americans who haven't already voted will head to the polls in less than two days. Paul Kadak is in North Carolina, one of President Trump's many pit stops on a marathon day spent rallying support. Good afternoon. With just hours now until Election Day, Donald Trump has certainly been trying to make the most of them, holding five rallies in five states today. A day finishing with a Florida rally ending after midnight, but beginning in freezing cold Michigan, battling wind and a little snow as Trump lashed out at his rivals. They want to close down your factories, ship your jobs to China, eliminate private health care, destroy the suburbs. I got rid of the, you know, I always say... Women, whoa. whoa. The women, that was them speaking. The women of the suburbs, you've got to love me. From there to Iowa, where a new survey puts him ahead, and then here to battleground North Carolina, where turnout on election day itself will be crucial, with the record-breaking early vote expected to favour Joe Biden. Joe Biden is not up to this job. All you have to do is watch him for about five minutes. It's time for Donald Trump to pack his bags and go home. Joe Biden, by contrast, today holding just two events, both in Philadelphia in the key toss-up state of Pennsylvania. In two days, we can put an end to a president who says, failed to protect this nation. In two days, we can put an end to a presidency that fanned the flames of hate poured gasoline on every opportunity he had. As the two candidates battle it out, an investigation's underway into this incident between their supporters. Video showing vehicles flying Trump flags surrounding a Biden campaign bus on a Texas highway. Those on board reportedly saying the cars were trying to slow and stop the bus, and they called police. Here's how the candidates have reacted. The Biden bus was heading, there was a big Greyhound bus, light bus, painted blue with Biden's markings on the side. And it was on Interstate Highway in Texas. And a bunch of Trump trucks, pickup trucks with Trump flags, tried to run it off the road. You see the way our people, they, you know, they were protecting his bus yesterday because they're nice. The FBI confirming they are now investigating what happened. From Hickory, North Carolina, it's back to you. Prince William has revealed he contracted coronavirus back in April but kept the diagnosis under wraps so as not to cause worry. British newspaper The Sun has reported William spoke of his illness at a recent engagement saying he had, hit, he had been hit hard and struggled to breathe as the virus took hold. A Kensington First, Palace source says William sense. fell um, ill around the same time both his father and the Prime Minister out, were also out. infected. The UK is currently experiencing a costly new COVID wave, the nation heading back into four weeks lockdown. The damage bill from Saturday's storms around Ipswich has almost doubled in 24 hours. As Tom Hartley reports, some families have been forced out, their homes deemed unlivable. Well, this is one of the hardest hit streets in Springfield Lakes, where practically 
Every house with a tiled roof has just been decimated outside and in. Even homes with tin roofs like this one here, if they had their car outside, that wasn't spared. The only thing more incredible than the damage is the resilience of the locals. Uh, we caught up with several this morning. The sky went really black really quickly and an uh, um, unexplainable sound and then ran to the front door and saw the giant um, hailstones wreck the two cars in the driveway um, and then at that point realised that it was starting to come through the um, tiled roof. Um, so grabbed my 20 month old baby and were running to try and find a room that was safe but it was all coming through pretty quickly so went to the walk-in wardrobe and then a giant hailstone um, came through the walk-in wardrobe so got a little couch put over my baby's head ran to the garage and sat in my car. And it's hard to believe but some of these residents are being taken advantage of. The locals are now being warned to look out for so-called disaster chasers. They're people who pose as builders or repairmen sent by insurers and they demand storm victors to pay for urgent jobs up front. Well, so far more than 8,500 claims have been lodged with losses estimated to be more than $110 million. And that figure expected to climb as the cleanup continues. Well, now on to today's weather and Tony, thankfully, much quieter. Good afternoon, Kendall. Yes, it is all pretty settled across the southeast today. We've even seen a cooler, subtly wind change push along the coast to take the edge off yesterday's heat too. Some patchy cloud, but that's still left plenty of sunny breaks across the traps or around the traps this afternoon. Cooling Gatta reached a top of 27 degrees, 19 overnight, then 26 at the Gold Coast Seaway. It was a muggy night too. Redcliffe, a minimum of 21 degrees, then also reaching 26. While it's quiet in the southeast, we do still have some very isolated storms taking off further north over the Wide Bay Burnett and Capricorn. Here. A severe thunderstorm warning is current in this yellow area with damaging winds and large hail the main threats. Those cells are slow moving and staying inland for now. Some more sunshine tomorrow, Kendall. I'll be back soon with the forecast. Thanks, Tony. See you then. Coming up after the break, shop front smash. The driver accused of two collisions in one night. The head of Australia Post resigns over lavish spending on executives. And the shocking number of Aussie cars still being driven on the roads with faulty airbags. The council hazards tripping up ratepayers, the cracked footpaths, tree roots. Just in that second, I went down. Potholes and falling branches. The victims, the secret payers and those missing out. I wasn't asking for a lot of money. Plus, the suburbs where you're most at risk on 7 News at 6 o'clock. It's got action. It's got drama. Don't worry. Here we go. He's got this. Nathan Fillion. You OK? Yeah, I probably should have stretched before that. Is The Rookie. New season tonight on 7. This spring, Ladbrokes is changing the way you multi, putting the power in your hands and giving you more chances to win. With our new split and blended features, load up your multi legs with runners from the same race, and if any of them get up, you win. Get all the racing multi combinations you want done in one. Ladbrokes, back yourself. Keeping your body in perfect shape isn't always easy. Fortunately, keeping your hair in perfect shape is. The Crew Cut exclusive to Shaver Shop with Japanese steel blades which cut in any direction. The Crew Cut from VS Sassoon. The clipper has evolved. No, no, no. Come on. That's the one for you. Oh, no. There's too many choices. I'm going to filter through these fillies fast. Should she be... Rock hard fit and have won her last start? Or have a history of riding winners? Or is it all about a consistent strike rate? You know you can select all three of us. Find your perfect match to your form preferences easily with Ned's Filter Form. Take it to the Ned's level. Have you tried the apple cider vinegar diet? Now you can with Nature's Way and their lifestyle plan. Feel fit and look fabulous this summer with Nature's Way apple cider tabs. My way is Nature's Way. When it comes to racing, BS has been around since day dot. 
boneheads hey. barked at it there, mates. No right. Monarchs trumpeted it to the masses. Back the three. <laughs> Even the Kiwis try to claim Farlap. That's ridiculous. I'm Reggie Ditch, bro. But these days, you can fight BS with the Sports Bet app. It makes betting on the races easy with independent expert tips from Best Bets for every Aussie race every day. Be as responsibly with Sports Bet. No, no, no. Come on. That's the one for you. There's too many choices. I'm going to filter through these fillies fast. Should she be... Rock hard fit and have won her last start? Or have a history of riding winners? Or is it all about a consistent strike rate? You know you can select all three of us. Find your perfect match to your form preferences easily with Ned's filter form. Take it to the Ned's level. This year has not been easy, but this is Australia. We will come back. The Australian government has a plan, so our jobs can come back. We're supporting businesses to hire more staff, encouraging more training to give people the skills they need to get a job, and opening up thousands of new jobs in infrastructure. The Economic Recovery Plan. This is our comeback. Find out how it benefits you and Australia at ourcomeback.gov.au. Authorised by the Australian Government, Canberra. A man faces drink driving charges after crashing twice in the one night. The 27-year-old was arrested after his Holton Commodore smashed into a shop in Adelaide's West. Police believe he had earlier crashed a ute into a letterbox before leaving that vehicle and driving off in the Commodore. His licence was immediately suspended for six months and both cars have been impounded. The head of Australia Post has resigned following scrutiny over lavish spending, including luxury watches for executives. CEO Christine Holgate leaves the role after three years, conceding the issue has been a distraction. Olivia Leeming reports. After the Prime Minister's outrage at four Australia Post executives receiving Cartier watches, Christine Holgate has released a statement this afternoon. She says, I've made the difficult decision to resign. I appreciate the optics of the gifts involved. Do not pass the pub test. My sincere apologies if my words or actions have offended others. She says she's not seeking any financial compensation and will cooperate with the inquiry into spending by the entire executive team. Those findings due later this month. And Australia Post is just one of the government entities that could be targeted by a new anti-corruption body. The government releasing draft legislation it's been sitting on since December for a Commonwealth Integrity Commission, finally unveiled by the Attorney General to set up a new body to investigate corruption by politicians, their staff, government departments and entities, intelligence agencies, the Australian Federal Police and universities, given the power to make arrests, tap phones, search premises confiscate passports and compel people to give evidence or face two years behind bars. But controversially, politicians and some public servants won't be hauled before public hearings for the matters to be investigated privately. Whether or not the general voter thinks that they're fair or they um, are warranted or whether or not they represent good or bad process, I mean, you know, that's for the general public to decide. Ultimately, a court should be making a public determination of guilt or innocence not a report. The government's seeking feedback on this draft legislation until February, before it's put to Parliament next year. Logie-winning actor Craig McLaughlin is giving evidence for the first time as he fights charges of indecently assaulting four female colleagues. He's told the court one of his accusers made remarks about his body while another entered his dressing room in her underwear. Jade Vincent reports. Actor Craig McLaughlin hasn't held back as he fights charges of indecently assaulting four of his female co-stars, going as far as to label one of his accusers as the most vulgar individual he's ever encountered. The allegations stem from his run as Frankenfurter in the Rocky Horror Picture Show in 2014. Giving evidence remotely from Sydney, Craig McLaughlin says he was flabbergasted when the accusations were made public, denying he indecently touched or assaulted any of the women. 
Fans of the TV star uploaded a video of McLaughlin's song It's All Right with messages of support as he faced court today. Everything's all right. It's all right. The 55-year-old admitted to kissing some of his accusers but told the court that in show business it was commonplace. It's just what we do. He said he would kiss a female colleague to congratulate her after a performance. The Logie winner claimed one of the women who had made allegations against him would regularly enter his dressing room uninvited, wearing only underwear, and sit on his lap to tell stories and jokes. He spoke of being a confidant to the women and as the leading man he liked to take an interest in all of the cast and crew. He denied any kissing or playful interactions had any sexual connotations while also claiming he was subjected to sexual pranks backstage. Craig McLaughlin is facing a total of 13 charges. The contested hearing is expected to run all week with further defence witnesses to be called. Thousands of Australian cars still have faulty airbags with less than two months to go before the deadline to have the potentially deadly problem fixed. The Consumer Watchdog has set December 31 as the date to have faulty Takata airbags replaced. Latest figures show Mitsubishi has replaced them in all except one vehicle. Nissan has more than 19,000 vehicles outstanding and there are more than 10,000 Toyota Lexus vehicles to be recalled. Coming up after the break, two people dead after a man dressed as a samurai goes on a Halloween stabbing rampage. Police arrest two men trying to cross the Queensland border with a bag full of drugs. And what's caused the huge profit plunge at one of Australia's largest banks? On 7 News, how a tradies ladder caused mayhem on the M1. Deb Freckington quits, who's next in line? Scammers targeting southeast storm victims. Cracked footpaths tripping up ratepayers. The secret payouts and worse suburbs. Plus, where you can go and the top tips for Melbourne Cup Day. 7 News at 6. Every morning, know what's unfolding with the US election. You'll get it first from Natalie Barr. Breaking news out of Washington. Only on Sunrise. This spring, Ladbrokes is changing the way you multi, putting the power in your hands and giving you more chances to win. With our new split and blended features, load up your multi legs with runners from the same race, and if any of them get up, you win. Get all the racing multi combinations you want done in one. Ladbrokes, back yourself. We spend half our lives preparing food, so have light and easy. It's saving time that you can spend mm. together, but also knowing you're still getting a really nice meal that's healthy. We swear by it. We really do. Let us entertain you with exclusive live streaming of the Lexus Melbourne Cup. That's right, catch the race that stops the nation live on the Tab app. Make a date with the edge of your seat this Lexus Melbourne Cup day. Tab, long may we play. Think of the people who need your support. Gamble responsibly. The greatest bravery is thinking for yourself out loud so the whole world can hear. Coming soon. The 4 Series Coupe. Let us entertain you with exclusive live streaming of the Lexus Melbourne Cup. That's right, catch the race that stops the nation live on the Tab app. Make a date with the edge of your seat this Lexus Melbourne Cup day. Tab. Long may we play. Think of the people who need your support. Gamble responsibly. Take more control over your hay fever. Prevent symptoms before they even start. Try Nutel Nasal Allergy Spray. Its active ingredient binds to receptors in the nasal cavity, preventing congestion, runny noses and sneezing. Try Nutel Nasal. This spring, Ladbrokes is changing the way you multi, putting the power in your hands and giving you more chances to win. With our new split and blended features, load up your multi-legs with runners from the same race, and if any of them get up, 
you win. Get all the racing multi combinations you want, done in one. Ladbrokes, back yourself. Did somebody say manual law? with Sharon Gadella and Max Futcher every night at 6 o'clock. Police have made another drug bust at a Gold Coast border checkpoint. Two men were stopped on the M1 at Tugan trying to cross into Queensland on Friday afternoon. A search of their car uncovered eight kilos of cocaine as well as ecstasy and cannabis. The pair is facing a string of charges. Westpac has posted a huge slump in full-year profit, down more than 60%. As Network Finance editor Gemma Acton reports, the hits keep coming for one of Australia's biggest banks. Good afternoon. Australia's second biggest bank, Westpac, had warned shareholders last week that ongoing customer refunds, the pandemic and the record Austrac money laundering fine would take their toll on its full-year profits. But even so, today's dismal result disappointed. Full year profit crashed to $2.6 billion, failing to meet forecasts down a whopping 62%. Better news came in the form of home loan deferrals. After peaking at 146,000 earlier this year, they're now down to 41,000. We've seen very good progress on the number of customers now making repayments. In Australian mortgages, deferrals have reduced to 4% of the portfolio while in small business, it's 2%. And in a welcome development for shareholders, Westpac will be paying a 31 cent final dividend after making no payout at its half-year results. Some relief for those who have held on as the share price halved over the past three years. The economic environment's just not as attractive for banks right now with a squeeze on the interest margin that they make as well as frankly less demand from the economy. Tomorrow, the Reserve Bank is widely expected to cut official interest rates to 0.1% and repeat its pledge to keep rates lower for longer. Two people are dead and another five injured after a shocking Halloween attack in Canada. This is the moment police took down the suspect, a 24-year-old man accused of stabbing people with a ceremonial Japanese sword while dressed in medieval clothing. Police say the attacks are not believed to be terror-related, however the exact motive remains unclear. And a wild intruder has sparked a major pig hunt in China. A security camera captured the moment a boar stormed into this restaurant, terrorising a waitress before fleeing. With police on the chase, the animal was spotted in a nearby workshop, tracked down and eventually tranquilised and taken to a local zoo. If you are on the Gold Coast, thanks so much for your company this Monday afternoon. You're off to the chase now and Rod Young will have your local 7 Gold Coast news at 5.30. For the rest of Queensland, the diabetes warning. Next, the dangers not even sufferers know about. Fire crews battle an intense blaze at a Collingwood Park home. And don't mess with the force. The driver pulled over and arrested by a stormtrooper. The council hazards tripping up ratepayers, the cracked footpaths, tree roots. Just in that second, I went down. Potholes and falling branches, the victims, the secret payouts and those missing out. I wasn't asking for a lot of money. Plus, the suburb where you're most at risk on 7 News at 6 o'clock. Who will be the world's most powerful person? Wednesday is election day. It's go time now! Who's going to vote for President Trump? Seven has your best coverage with the might of Seven News, NBC and CNN. No other network has the expertise in Washington in their camps. And I know we can heal this nation. You're so lucky I'm your president. Live right through the day, your definitive source 
is 7 News. Red Rock Deli. Discover a world of deliciousness. Come and play on the Gold Coast for three nights from just $345. Book now. My dentist said enamel should be great on the outside and on the inside. Go Pro with Oral-B Pro Health. It's formulated with active strength technology that strengthens enamel on the inside. Plus, it protects the outside from erosion. Go Pro with Oral-B Pro Health. The greatest bravery is thinking for yourself out loud so the whole world can hear. Coming soon, the 4 Series Coupe. Oh, what a day. Gotta sweat it out. Let the pressure out. Push on. Come on. Tomorrow, bring it on. Ion 4 Hydration. Power 8. This seems easy enough. Sign these. Do you have all of this? And you'll also have to jump through that. Nimble makes finance faster. Get a Nimble personal loan up to $25,000 from 8.99%. Comparison rate from 10.31% per annum. Don't jump through hoops to have the renovation of your dreams. Choose Nimble. Visit nimble.com.au. Shop over 4,000 products for your home and enjoy free standard delivery and returns. For every moment this Christmas, visit adares.com.au. The Toyota RAV4 Cruiser comes with a moonroof, which is great for looking at the moon. Or its daytime cousin, the sun. The Toyota RAV4, the return of recreation. Oh, what a feeling. Toyota. Cookie people, cream people, crumbs people, clean people, twist people, lick people, dunk people, munch people. It's on the play, people. If you twist, lick, dunk, then you're my people. We are Oreo people. Live from Brisbane, 7 News with Kendall Gilding. Welcome back. Our top stories this Monday. Deb Frecklington has fallen on her sword after the LNP's election loss. Her deputy, Tim Mander, and Shadow Tourism Minister David Chrysofulli are frontrunners to take her job. A man has died in a horror smash on the M1 at Narang. The 53-year-old was riding a motorbike when he was involved in a multi-vehicle crash. And police are warning commuters to pack their patience at the border. Delays are expected when the borders reopen to most of New South Wales tomorrow. An Ipswich house has been destroyed after fire tore through the home in a matter of minutes early this morning. Fortunately, no one was injured in the fire. Police are treating it as suspicious. Elliot Chipper has more. Less than 100 metres away from a nearby school, parents and neighbours were shocked to discover a house engulfed in flames during the school drop-off. Smoke poured into the sky above Collingwood Park as the street below was filled with fire and emergency services just after 8 o'clock. Rather terrifying, actually. Just It was the speed more than anything else, how quickly it took over and got to that extent. Quickly spreading to the roof, by the time firefighters arrived, they could only stop the flames from spreading to nearby homes. The fire was brought under control quite quickly, approximately 10 to 15 minutes. We did bring multiple Queensland Fire and Rescue Service appliances here to ensure we had adequate resources. It was so out of control initially that we were all afraid of what was going to happen and if anyone was inside the house of course. Fortunately no one was and no other homes were damaged. Police and fire investigators spent the morning speaking with witnesses who reported hearing an argument moments before the fire started. Just screaming and smashing windows and swearing and, swearing and there was more smashing and next thing there's black smoke coming through the w our windows. One man is assisting police with their investigation. I'll have all the details and the full story tonight on 7 News at 6 o'clock. 
Two volunteer firefighters have had to leap for their lives as a car ploughed through a roadblock and into the scene of a fatal accident. The female driver swerved at the last second, hitting the truck and ending up in a paddock in the mid-north of South Australia. The firefighters had blocked off the highway after a trailer swung into the path of a car being driven by a 75-year-old man who died at the scene. NRL star Dylan Walker has been charged over a violent incident outside a pizza shop in Sydney. Natasha Squarey has the details. That's right, the NRL Integrity Unit is once again liaising with Dylan Walker, his club and police, but says it's likely to wait until the court process plays out before deciding if any action should be taken with Walker not due to play until next season. Police say the 26-year-old Manly Seagull star arrived at this Narrowena takeaway shop to pick up a pizza around nine last night. Staff say Walker was agitated and then went behind the counter before he was asked to leave twice. It's alleged Walker attacked a 22-year-old staff member and the man's 53-year-old father. Walker is then accused of trying to get into the car of a woman he didn't know and then left. He was arrested a short time later and charged at Manly Police Station before walking free on bail. Obviously, I hope it didn't happen. It's only early. It's obviously very out of character. He's a good mate of mine, so I'm... Um uh, yeah, obviously, hope it, hope it didn't happen and we've got him for next year. Now, Walker was previously before the courts just last year. He was charged with assaulting his fiance, but he was found not guilty. He's now facing two fresh charges of common assault and will face court in two weeks. It's likely to be a big week for financial markets. James Tao has the latest from Comsec. Good afternoon, Kendall. Well, it was certainly a rather cautious start to the new week and month for the local share market. We saw the ASX 200 early on swinging between gains and losses. There was some good news to come through from China on the economic front, some better than expected manufacturing data for the second largest economy and our largest trading partner helped push the ASX to 100 higher at the close, up around 24 points or 0.4 of 1%. Locally, we saw some of the big name financials also helping to keep the market afloat. AMP up another near 10% today after a near 20% jump last Friday. Uh, Aries Management, which is a US company interested in taking over the company, offering $1.85 per share, or roughly $6.4 billion. ANZ, another big winner, up more than 2%. But Westpac was down today, nearly 0.6 of 1% on the back of its full-year profit results. The cash earnings down about 60%. The Aussie dollar also a little bit weaker, now buying just north of 70 US cents. James Tao there. A new campaign has been launched encouraging Australians living with diabetes to manage their condition and prevent long-term damage. New research shows almost half of people with type 2 don't realise it can cause chronic kidney problems. Samantha Brett has more. Well, around 1.2 million Australians live with type 2 diabetes and many of those don't know the further risks involved with having the disease. Diabetes is the slow pandemic of the 21st century. Uh, you know, there's very large numbers of people with type 2 diabetes. A new study has revealed that while more than a million Australians live with type 2 diabetes, 40% are unaware of its connection to kidney disease and heart failure, which can be deadly. It's not a, an old age thing. It can happen in, the, in people in their 20s and 30s. And if they develop this, this kidney damage or other damage, uh, it's going to be with them for the rest of their life. Like 56-year-old Joseph Kazana, who was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes at age 27 and now suffers severe heart and kidney complications. My general day-to-day -day life is, revolves around medicine, revolves around doctor's appointments. It certainly has changed my life. I'd say for the worst. Prevention, unfortunately, is not always an option. Type 2 diabetes is hereditary, but can be kept under control. A new campaign out today titled If I Had Known chronicles the stories of sufferers who let their health slip, a sober reminder of the importance of taking early action. It's hoped this new campaign will help those living with type 2 diabetes and those at risk be inspired to do more to avoid further complications. 
A suspected drunk driver has been stopped in his tracks by a stormtrooper. The off-duty highway patrol trooper was on her way home from a Halloween party dressed as the Star Wars villain when she spotted a car travelling the wrong way. The driver was pulled over and arrested by the costume-clad trooper, all in a day's work, even on Halloween. Shane Webke joins me with all the day's sports news next. Also, ever wanted to live like royalty? This might be your chance. And how to get your hands on a $300 iPhone. On 7 News, how a tradies ladder caused mayhem on the M1. Deb Freckington quits, who's next in line? Scammers targeting southeast storm victims. Cracked footpaths tripping up ratepayers, the secret payouts and worst suburbs. Plus, where you can go and the top tips for Melbourne Cup Day. 7 News at 6. The greatest British mysteries. Monday to Thursday at 8.30. This is my favourite part. We're off to catch the culprit. Uncover the truth with the straight-talking detective foil. My source, my case, my decision. The eagle-eyed Inspector Morse. Watch carefully, Lewis. Master Sleuth Lewis. And new Murdoch Mysteries. No crime is unsolvable. Great British Mysteries, Monday to Thursday on 7-2. Smart tech is everywhere. Smart fridge, smart car, smart doorbell. Hello. But Fitbit makes you smart about your health. This isn't some phone on your wrist. It's a way to help manage stress. Keep your heart strong. And tune in to your body. It's more than a watch. It's a smarter way to transform your health. Priceline Pharmacy Sister Club was already pretty perfect, but now it's had a makeover. It's even perfecter. You now get even more perky perks on top of your points. And the more you shop, the better it gets. Ooh, hello rewards. As a Diamond member, you'll get pampered even more. More points? You guessed it. And as a Pink Diamond member, even more. Scan your way to loyalty royalty with Priceline Pharmacy Sister Club. Look around as the favourites come out, it begins. Observing with an eagle eye, mastering the art of stashing. Oh, brilliant move, Grant. Cadbury favourites. Everyone gets their favourites. Nivea Cellular Filler Elasticity with Hyaluron, Collagen and Elastin Booster visibly reduces even deep wrinkles and improves elasticity. Visible results in one week. Nivea Cellular Filler Elasticity. Duck Fresh Discs, now exploding with fragrance. Well, it does smell quite nice. With new odour neutralising technology, it fights stains and freshens flush after flush. Look, it's not rocket science, it's duck science. S.C. Johnson. All you need to launch a celebrated art career. A cheap studio. A Squarespace website with an expensive looking template. And a second job you're going to quit after your first solo show. Nervous parents. An acid green period, a happy career-making accident, and a Squarespace online store to sell the must-have gift of the holiday season. This year has not been easy, but this is Australia. We will come back. The Australian government has a plan, so our jobs can come back. We're supporting businesses to hire more staff, encouraging more training to give people the skills they need to get a job, and opening up thousands of new jobs in infrastructure. The Economic Recovery Plan. This is our comeback. Find out how it benefits you and Australia at ourcomeback.gov.au. Authorised by the Australian Government, Canberra. The greatest risk of all. I'm going to take the top off. One question for big dollars or disaster. New The Chase, weekdays on 7. The council hazards tripping up ratepayers. The cracked footpaths, tree roots. Just in that second, I went down. Potholes and falling branches. 
the victims, the secret payouts and those missing out. I wasn't asking for a lot of money. Plus, the suburb where you're most at risk on 7 News at 6 o'clock. Shoppers will soon be able to grab an iPhone along with a bottle of milk and a loaf of bread. As Georgia Commonsoli reports, a major supermarket giant is about to start selling refurbished smartphones. Good afternoon. From Wednesday, Coles customers will be able to buy a recycled iPhone 7 in store across most states. And retailing for just over $200 means this will be a game changer for the consumer. Typically, iPhones can set you back thousands of dollars, but now shoppers will be able to pick up a second-hand iPhone 7 at a Coles checkout whilst picking up their weekly groceries. The phones are recycled, undergoing a 72-point inspection process to make sure each phone is is ready for use. Their previous data is wiped before landing in store. Once there, the phones come with a $10 boost SIM card to get you started and those behind the rollout say it's a game changer. We know that value is more important than it's ever been and we've been selling phones for a very long time now but everyone loves an iPhone and everyone loves an iPhone at a great price. The recycled phones won't be available online. You'll have to come in store to pick one up and they'll be available in Victoria and Queensland Coles in just a few months' time. Let's get a quick check of today's sport now. Here's Webby. Thank you, Kendall. Hello, everyone. Queensland winger Xavier Coates is now expected to play the Blues on Wednesday night, despite scans today confirming he suffered an AC joint injury to his shoulder at training. The sprain is minor, and Maroon staff are confident he can play through it. He looked fine at brekkie this morning. Um, I didn't really go into any detail. He was very smiley and happy at, at breakfast this morning, but I think that just might be his character. If Coates isn't fit, Phil Sammy will switch to the right wing. Lions star recruit Joe Danaher insists his body is right to go after three injury-plagued seasons. Landing in the den today, the former All-Australian key forward seen as the missing link for Brisbane and a premiership tilt. While osteitis pubis restricted the 26-year-old to just 15 games in three years, he's confident a mountain of work over the last six months will pay off. I was pleased off. I was uh, able to get out there and play a couple of games late in the year. Um, although I wish it was probably a little bit earlier, um, I'm feeling really good and, and really uh, ready to hit the ground running in pre-season. Yeah, it says he is unfazed by the tag of being Brisbane's money man. Champion trainer Danny O'Brien has a host of chances to win his second straight Melbourne Cup at Flemington tomorrow. Of O'Brien's four runners, Russian Camelot looms as the best hope. The four-year-old has been taking it easy since finishing third in the Cox Plate when favourite. He's been down at the beach every morning, so we're hoping uh, the, the sea environment's freshened him up just enough for the Melbourne Cup and, and he should be ready to go tomorrow. O'Brien also has last year's winner, Val and Declare, along with King of Leogrants and Miami Bound. Kendall, plenty more at six. See you then. Thank you, Webby. Well, if you've ever wanted to be the Queen's neighbour, now's your chance. This is Flitcham Hall, a six-bedroom property on Sandringham Estate, a stone's throw from Her Majesty's own property. It's up for lease for $7,000 per month. For that, you get a little slice of English countryside and some very regal neighbours. There is one condition, though, no cats, with fears they'll disturb the local wildlife. Tony Orden joins us with the latest weather forecast next. Also, the stage is set for Queensland Ballet to return to the theatre. And Barack Obama goes viral with his smooth moves on the campaign trail. On 7 News, how a tradies ladder caused mayhem on the M1. Deb Freckington quits, who's next in line? Scammers targeting southeast storm victims. Cracked footpaths tripping up ratepayers, the secret payouts and worse suburbs. Plus, where you can go in the top tips for Melbourne Cup Day. 7 News at 6. Good afternoon. Dave Andrews in the Ingenia Lifestyle Communities. Traffic chopper had a four-car nose-to-tail crash on the Bruce Highway heading northbound around Dolly's Rocks Road through Marumba Downs. It moved off, but got some delays behind it. That's back down Gympie Road. That got all the way back to Bald Hills. The run down the gateway really slow back to about Bracken Ridge. Over 50s lifestyle community, Ingenia Lifestyle Bethania has new homes from 285,000. Say hello to Freedom today. Visit liveinbethania.com.au. I'll be back to check the roads again for you tomorrow. Not one woman has got across this. So today I want to make it that day. Oh. 
Be the first. Be the first. Do not let go of that rope. Get up there. We haven't even started yet. Freezing cold water, you go into a state of shock. And stay there. Because your body thinks it's going to die. This is the course of finding out how resilient you are. Absolutely shredded my nuts. <laughs> how much grit and determination they really have. SAS Australia, tonight, 7.30 on 7. Happy birthday! Are you serious? <laughs> Help take care of your family with Medibank Life Insurance. Apply for cover up to $2.5 million, depending on age and income. When you've got a lot on the boil, books pretty much get the chop. But Audible can help you fit them back into your life, even when you're cooking up a storm. Bread, wine and books. Audible! With over 400,000 audiobooks. Sorry. It's books that fit with real life. Oh, Soz, that's me. <laughs> you know what it's like. Oh, there's another one and another one. Download now and get your first audiobook free. Feel the clarity of non-drowsy Claritine for fast, powerful 24-hour hay fever and allergy relief from sneezing, runny nose, itchy eyes and skin. Because stuffed animals are clearly no substitute for real ones. Feel the clarity and live Claritine clear. And there is only one... I'm alive! <laughs> Just kidding. I'm dead inside, emotionally. But that's neither here nor there. There's still only one cure for hungry, thirsty and that's oak. With its full strength and full taste, it's full on! Oh, oak. Kill hungry, thirsty, dead. At Coles, we're helping lower the cost of barbecue faves. Mix and save two selected items for $12. Like Coles Tasty Beef and Time Burgers and Coles No Added Hormone Beef Quick Cook Porterhouse Steaks. Coles, value the Australian way. Bone mass peaks in our 30s. You need enough vitamin D to maintain bone strength. Look after your bones with new Austelin Bone Strength with the added benefit of magnesium, iron or collagen support. The greatest risk of all. I'm going to take the top off. Oh, wow. One question. This question stands between you and $40,000. For big dollars or disaster. Wonder Woman wears golden armour modelled on which bird? New The Chase, weekdays at 5 on 7. Good afternoon, you're watching 7 News. Checking the weather now and after Saturday's storms and yesterday's heats, heat, rather, it's all pretty comfortable across the southeast today. Having said that, we have seen one or two storms a little bit further north and a severe thunderstorm warning is current in this yellow area here across parts of the Wide Bay, Burnett and the Capricornia. One main cell at the moment inland of Calliope. It's up on the ranges, though. Onto the satellite, uh, a trough system here. We've seen uh, cooler air in behind it across the southeast. The trough itself has helped trigger those couple of storms further north. But for the most part, clear skies across eastern Australia, a couple of storms over in the west near this frontal system here. Now tomorrow, not too much change. That trough and frontal system will move a bit further east. This system will eventually bring some heat to the southeast Queensland later in the week, but in the meantime, mostly sunny skies on the Queensland coast thanks to a weak ridge of high pressure. Around the nation tomorrow, dry across the major centres here, a top of 30 degrees in Melbourne for the Melbourne Cup. Adelaide up to 34 degrees, a bit cooler in Perth, 14 to 23 degrees there. Back to northern Queensland, hot and dry. Mount Isa up to 39 degrees, Weeper 38. Then we're talking more so the low 30s on the east coast and remaining dry there right through the next week. Heading south, it also dries up and temperatures climb inland. Longreach up to 37 degrees, Emerald 34. Harvey Bay is the place to go to cool down, a top of 27 degrees there. Across the southeast, mostly sunny skies for your Tuesday. Subtly winds persisting on the coast, so it'll stay mild rather than hot. Brisbane, 27 degrees. The Bayside, 26. Ipswich sneaking up to 30. As I mentioned, heating up later this week. Kendall, all those details at 6. We'll see you soon. Thank you, Tony.
Taking a look at 7 News at 6 and Sharon, our exclusive investigation into injured residents suing council. Yes, Kendall, the secret payouts to people injured after tripping over dodgy footpaths or dangerous tree roots. So how much has council had to pay out? We'll have those details at 6. Also tonight, there's been a surprise boost for Aussie movie makers. Yes, with Hollywood all but shutting down during COVID, there's a big demand locally. Tonight we have a look at a local film showcasing an inspiring story that's unfolded right here in Brisbane and it will be played at Cannes. Roll out the red carpet. <laughs> and also, Sharon, tomorrow it's Cup Day. It sure is, Kendall. The build-up hasn't quite been what we're used to, but there are plenty of places around the southeast to get out and watch the race. We've got your last-minute plan sorted. We just can't tell you who's going to win, sadly. <laughs> Thankfully, we're six. in Queensland and we can still celebrate a little. There is that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sharon. See you at six. Thanks, Kendall. It's been 11 months since Queensland Ballet performed its last full-length production and now dancers are preparing to take to the stage again. The company is back with a limited season of Giselle after it, its entire 2020 season was postponed due to COVID. It will be performed underneath the stars at Hotter's Outdoor Theatre on the Gold Coast. To bring this world-class production you know, to the outdoor theatre, it will be just amazing. The show will run from November 12 to 14. To social media now, Barack Obama is trending after nailing a spontaneous shot on a basketball court. That's what I do! Just when we thought he couldn't get any cooler, he's on the campaign trail trying to help get Joe Biden votes. COVID meant Halloween was low-key, but it didn't stop celebrities going all out, like Kim Kardashian and her clan, who dressed as Carol Baskin, Joe Exotic and some tigers. Chrissy Teigen was Black Swan and husband John Legend's Spider-Man, while Rebel Wilson and her beau partied at fellow Aussie Margot Robbie's bash. And Justin Bieber has dropped a special documentary. After postponing his tour due to coronavirus, he decided to let cameras into his home. Right now, it's a really happy season, and I want people to get an inside look of this guy really is just a human who's just figuring it out like you and me. You can find Next Chapter on YouTube. And don't forget, if you want to see more, you can find us online anytime on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And that's our news for this Monday. Thanks so much for your company. The Chase is coming up next. Max and Sharon are back with 7 News at 6. I'm Kendall Gilding. I'll see you tomorrow. He thinks they are all his friends. You have no right to still be wearing that. He thinks his murderous secret is safe. I know what happened with Ross. I know, OK. In the coming days, one of them will betray him. Colby Thorne, I'm placing you under arrest. Someone said something. Are you willing to make a statement against Colby? I have chosen a side. I'm ready to talk. Who is Witness X? You will play your part in taking Colby down, and I'm going to love every second of it. This witness is key. I need to find out who they are. You're the rat! I didn't do anything! Good guys don't shoot people. Murder is murder. Have you said anything? <sighs> None of us would do that to you. Was it you? Home and Away on 7. Don't miss it. This week at 7 on 7. These four strangers must work as a team to win thousands of dollars, but stand...